welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you're there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover. And every kiss and every touch you feel, you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Okay, boys, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials uh, up 41, NASDAQ down 45, S&P's down 1, gold contract up $21, trading at 1357 silver up 66 cents, $17.58 an ounce. Gold and silver, folks, we're going to get right back to them as we do as the rest of the recap, but they are monster ABC structures on the way up. Oil, oil up a buck 52, trading at 65.99. Ten-year note, down five ticks, 122.08. 30-year bond, down 18 ticks, 148.21. King dollar, king dollar down 860 ticks, trading at 89.055. The euro is at 120. Four to the U.S. dollar. The yen is at 109 to the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We had a high out here today, folks, of 28.52. You closed out at 28.40. Bottom line, did make another high. Uh, flat market, but made another high. Dow Industrials also did the same type of situa situation. Got to a high. Gave up some points, closed uh, with a nice doji at the top. They all get dojis at the top. So we'll see if we uh, end up getting a little pullback here. We haven't for so, so long. It's pretty amazing, actually. So Dow Industrials closed up 41, 26, 25, had got as high as 26,392. The composite, what do we do with the composite? Composite also traded to a new high, gave it up, traded to 74.86. We're at 74.15. Now, let's get into some juice here. We'll get into the gold contract. Uh, so, when we take a look at the gold contract, this is what you have. Gold contract today does 486,000 contracts. Uh, we were taking over the 500,000 contracts. We had a question of that, uh, where did I go with the uh, 1460 uh, level, uh, 1430 level uh, inside gold. Where I'm going is this. I'm taking an 8 point down at 1236. Um, December 1236, just ballparking it. You're taking the B point right up at that 500,000. Uh, bottom line, 1345. So you get $109. Your C point is uh, 1324. Is uh, 14 uh, what? 1434. There, there she is. You know, so you're a little shot on on contract volume with 487 versus 500. Bottom line, what I expect we're going to see is this. Now watch how this goes. This gets really wild though. Okay, so when you've been in a consolidation like this, you can actually take the 1358 high. You can take the low of 1236, and you get 120 bucks, and you add that on the 1358, 1458, there's 1460. So when you do that, we get 1430 to 1460. If we go and we take a look at the uh, GLD, the GLD had already given us a heads up because what happened is the GLD had taken the B point out uh, of the ABC structure up and that took it out on the 12th. Now what we just did is that we just took the, uh, the 12th out with volume once again. And we're at 128.83. Now what's just so cool about this, watch how this shakes out. That took out the... September 8th high, bottom line, you can take the 128, you take the bottom 117, you're going to add on uh, uh, 11 points, that gets you up to 139, we bring this back, take a look at it, and 137 is the high from August of 2012, and 154 is the high from the April 2013, and you see the low of 2013 is 130. We get to 139, that's going to be nice, far enough inside that monster bar, because that was a vicious month, April of 2013. And that's saying that gold has a shot of going up into 1600, which is pretty wild. There's no doubt about it. Silver. 
Well, actually, let's go uh, take a look at s some of the gold stocks first, because what you're going to see out here, the ABCs are, are basically all over the place. So you take a, an, an Eco Eagle, took out the B point, blew it away with volume. B point, we're talking about $48. It had 1.4 million. You did 2.4. A point on this is 40. B up there is 48. You get eight bucks. You're talking about 53. 53 brings it up and over the September 5th high. Uh, Rango Resources. We take a look at Rango. Uh, Rango Resources also took it out. This is a beauty, too. Rango A is 90, and I'm ballparking some of these folks. Uh, B is 101, so you get 11 bucks. That brings you up to 106. 106 gets you up to the September 7th high, also. Uh, now let's go take a look at, at one of the dogs. So, uh, Barrick. You know, Barrick, uh, bottom line, has had a hard time. Well, guess what? Barrick, we also got the volume in. You know, bottom line, Barrick uh, took out uh, $15.382, had 17 million shares versus 18. Gave it up in price. Barrick's going to need more work. Newmont, let's go take a look at Newmont. Newmont, different ball game. Newmont has juice. Newmont took out, and this is the big number here. So Newmont had taken out its high of September 7th uh, on the 12th, on the 15th. This is a monster number. Uh, this is pretty cool, man. Okay, so Newmont has just launched, look at this, man. Okay, thanks, Z, for bringing this up. I was just, okay, so check this out. This is pretty amazing. Now, this is an indication, you know, I was talking about the April, uh, well, here, this is April 2016. Newmont just took out the 39 bucks. That says Newmont's going to 46. Let me bring this back a little bit further. This is going to be wild if this is a monster ABC up. We'll, we'll find out because your A point on that is 15, your B is 46, you get 30 bucks, which would get you 60 bucks, which gets you, yeah, interesting, gets you into the March of 2012. It looks like the, every which way that we basically look at this, folks, uh, bottom line, it looks like uh, you get a commodity bull, a metals bull on your hands. And uh, you get a dollar that is toast. We had silver up 3.9%, uh, you copper up 3.8%, wheat up 2.7%. Up You'll see all these commodities run. Hogs up 1.4%, cocoa up 1.3%. Bottom line is that weak dollar sends commodities to the moon. Coming right back, folks.